Yo, what up? Welcome to the vlog, my quality audience, aka my quadience. Hell yeah, brother. Hit the like button if you just lost respect for me for using that term that I just made up. Welcome to the vlog. Bam, bing, bing, bang. Well, all right, guys, it's been a long time coming, and finally, I have placed all of, well, 99.9% .9 of my six scale figures into their case, and um, I left a couple boxes open, but they're, they're out here on the shelf on full display, and I mean, I don't think they've, I don't think I've had them out in full force like this ever. You know, I, when I first started collecting, I knew I was moving, so I never busted them all out. And the second house I knew I was moving, this time I was like, damn it, boy, I gotta get these motherfuckers on display. What's the point of having toys? and dolls as a grown ass man if they're not going to be on display for everyone to see how pathetic I am. So, uh, I'm gonna go and just, I guess, do a video where I show you all of my toys and how much they cost. No, I'm kidding, what do you think? I got 61 million subscribers? I can't do that. I gotta be entertaining, so I'll run through this shit real quick for you. Shabim beam. Why'd I do that? That's too many beam bams and bing bangs, right? Too many? I feel like it's been a minute since I've been on the vlog, so I'm all caught up in the shagoop shagoop. I gotta pull it back a bit, you know, be a real person. <sighs> ah! All right, let's take it from the top shelf. I got three of the Snow Bad Boys from Hoth. Um, them Coke Boys holding it down 24-7, smashing out them Rebel Assault Boys. Over here, I got them Afghani Bad Boys. They're holding it down on this basement diorama I got. He's even got a cigarette. They are Arbaz and Assad. I got that uh, crusty version of me in the back there. I got a... Uh, uh, an SAS soldier with a zombie getting blasted in the head with this Tokyo street diorama set up. I busted my Halo 3 figures, uh, sorry, Halo 5 figures off the legendary case, uh, and it's proved to be an awesome diorama for some figures. Here's Scratchy Scratchy Claw Man, Cat Boy, he's pretty fucking tight. This is a uh, big dick cowboy skeleton, bing bang. Uh, he's got his golden gun, and I, I feel like I got him in a pretty serious dynamic pose right now. I uh, kind of like that. My most expensive six scale figure at 600 bucks, uh, Canadian dollars, it's a uh, big dick of the universe, Thanos. You already know with the big purple hammer, slam it down on your girl like shagwow. Over here I got the, uh, the original OT boys. I got those original uh, Star Wars boys from the OT with uh, the little hologram Leia over there. My two, my two best buds, Han Solo, Chewie, Big Ben in the back, holding it down. Over here, I got Darth Vader with the two Lukes, the Bespin Luke. One's like, I'm gonna fuck up my daddy, and this one's all like, Daddy, fuck me up. And Yoda sitting here cross-legged with a gun like he never would in the Star Wars universe. But the toy universe is mine, I call it like I see it, you already know! These are uh, almost like the Star Wars Rejects case, not quite Jyn so as a babe holding it down. Sorry that you have to go so soon, boo. Love you, though. Got the scout trooper. He's got a cup of coffee over there. Uh, I posed him once holding it. It just looked so natural. I decided to keep it forever. I got Luke here after the snow speeder crashes. That armor's too thick. I just bought this poster on Mondo, by the way. Shout out to that. Malgus in the back. If you played that RPG, if you didn't care about it, you lost a lot of hours of your life that you'll never get back. What a shame, right? Isn't life fucked up? Over here, I got these uh, two space troopers from the original trilogy. Han Solo in the back, disguised as one of them. One of them. One of them. Got this uh, evil R2 black droid over here. He's uh, not evil because he's black. That's racist, Lucas Arts. Why would you guys do that? I got my girl with her boy fee, and I got them two uh, Star Killer base troopers in the back. You guys fucked up. You blew a three to one lead. How could you be so strong and let the rebellion fucking resistance on top of it b b b bust it up for you? You, you, you stupid dum-dums. BB-8 looking like a sexy ball of love. And shout out to my boy King Zachary the fourth for making me this model Vader head. It goes really nice for my Kylo. Mad love to you, Zachary. I got IG-88 in the back. For long, looking like a bunch of fucking bounty hunter losers. Dollar store Boba Fett's back there. Just kidding, mad love to them. Look at this, what do we got here? Oh, he's got a light on top of his head. If you want it though, if you want it. Right now, I don't want it, so. Got Deadpool over here with his gun and his grenade, Boba Fett, uh, Darth Maul, the most overrated character in Star Wars history. Yeah, yeah, you too, don't worry about it. But most importantly you, this guy got killed by a Jedi Padawan when he had the high ground. That's disrespectful. That's the original design of Boba Fett. He was supposed to be a super trooper. They gave that to Phasma instead. I have a Phasma figure, don't know where she is. She's one of the only figures that's aren't, that is not set up right now, but you guys have seen her before. Clone trooper, it's like a look through time. 
It's like looking back in time and seeing how far we've come this far. Are we happy with it? Some of us are happy, some of us aren't. I got the heavy trooper over here. I got this regular trooper holding his gun. And we got the flame trooper in the back looking big dick squishy McDougal. What the fuck does that mean? Guardians of the Galaxy case. Okay, say time you fucking idiot. This guy's on the ground like that would ever happen. I got uh, big dick John Luke Picard holding it down over here. Legion, since I don't have a Commander Shepard, would probably obviously follow Jean Luke Picard. Well, at least the way I played Mass Effect. I got Star Lord over here, dual wielding with that baby Groot over there. In the back is Groot. Here's a little fact, guys. Did you know baby Groot is not Groot? That Groot is dead. Baby Groot is Groot's son. No joke. That's how that works. So just a little tidbit for you. If you didn't feel sad today, he's dead. That's a different thing. Um, over here we got Rocket Raccoon uh, holding a lightsaber, a little toy lightsaber. Uh, and I got Hollywood Hogan, one of my favorite figures. I was so impressed with him. I had to go get, sorry Hulk, I had to go get Hollywood once this one was so awesome. Here's Saitama with his, uh, his groceries lying on his back. He's a fucking goofball. If I ever had to audition for a movie role, it would probably be for Lobo. It's the only superhero I feel like I could pull off if I... Uh, Ate a massive amount of steroids and uh, was given the chance. Uh, we got Batman in the back, Superman in the back. Thumbs up, Soup. Yeah, you can never do wrong. The fucking John Cena of the DC Universe, you big goofball. Get out of my face. Ooh, them bad boys. Them bad boys. We got the T-800 uh, 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 Terminator. <laughs> we, got, uh, we got Robocop, a.k.a. Murphy. And we got the Xenomorph right here. Warrior Alien, uh, Big Dick Shredder, um, always been a, an evil genius since I, actually was he a genius? No, he, that was Krang. This was just a stupid samurai in a fucking tin can hat. What a dumbass. Why did I even buy this toy? Oh yeah, because he's awesome and his name is Shredder and he has a purple cape. That's why I got him. Big shout out to Casey Jones with the bat over there. We got uh, Mikey and we got Donatello. Uh, they're solid, very solid. And moving on down, we got Arnold Schwarzenegger, my second Schwarzenegger, as John Matrix. Over here, I got this 1968 Vietnam soldier. I got into some real people for a minute there, like that guy back there, a British uh, soldier in Afghanistan. And Briarios, Briarios! If you've ever seen Appleseed, you know about Briarios. He's fucking real deal. Got over here, this is where we're getting a little bare bones on this as the collection seems to thin out a bit. But this is a great one. We got Deadpool number two over here. You can't have too many Deadpools. I got Beetlejuice filing his nails. And we got Ghost Rider in the back. Huge shout out to Sideshow Collectibles. They provided me with these bad boys. Mad love to them. That's where I get almost all my toys. You guys can check them out, Sideshow Collectibles. Um, over here is my custom PUBG character, who is, uh, I got all the pieces and customized it. If you've seen my, my str streams, I talked about it. So I had to put all these pieces together. He is actually wearing white Yeezys, which Amir bought for me. So pretty sweet, because Amir didn't have to wait in line four days for those ones. And this uh, guy's called God Complex uh, something, I forget. Zeus, maybe? I'm not sure. But he's just a bad man in a bad man suit, and he's bad boy. So I put him in the shelf like Shigupi. And here we got the porcelain stormtrooper witnessing Rodman flirting with Rodman. Uh, that's got the uh, makeup on this Rodman over here. And the other one, he's rocking the suit. Uh, they're both really awesome. And they come with numerous hair changes. Very fucking cool figure. I like that double pack. Happy about it. And I know I said I wasn't going to show you all my figures. Uh, and I ended up doing it. But I got caught up in the wave. You know, once it's, once I started showing one, I was like, people will be pissed off if I don't show all of them. So I showed all of them. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section which one's your favorite. If you want. I read all the comments, I really do. Mad love to you guys. So we just had the green screen set up in here because we put on a new show actually on the Epic Meal Time Prime channel. So uh, that's a pretty big deal. We'll see how it goes. Right now I'm calling it a la carte. I think that's what it'll be called. But I noticed you guys like when I, I do my vlogs and I want to keep doing my vlogs. But you also liked when I had a lot of shit today. Ta 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 I, when I had a lot of shit to say and uh, I have a lot of shit to say on the topic of food and what's going on in the food world So I put together a little show. It's probably up right now uh, You can click at the link in the description boy um, And it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a, a like a future Joel McHale the soup like shout out to Ray William Johnson Clip show with a food challenge hidden in at the end. It's uh, I'm proud of it and most importantly I'm proud of where it will go uh, whether you leave criticism there or here, I value that. You can tell me what parts you like, what parts I should, uh, what parts I should adjust, and uh, yeah. So yeah, check that out. 
So I've been re-watching uh, <clears throat> Lord of the Rings extended cut shit, boy, because I ain't no bitch. I never plan on finishing them in one sitting anyways. Um, I'm just watching them while I edit, and uh, Tussy actually watches TV. And as soon as there's any four thing with anything with four legs on it on TV, he goes nuts. And he's just having a very hard time with Lord of the Rings extended cut because nonstop there's just fucking horses and wolves of Isengard and all that jazz. And my boy here is losing his mind. You can't even get off the couch. What a studio gangster. Yeah, I really am. Like, <laughs>